Hi guys, this is AC Gamer back with another video on Nikkei Goddess of Victory. So the game is officially back and we can actually go ahead and use the liberation system. Now I do believe they also added the characters in here so we can actually go ahead and see the characters animation because um, they are absolutely beautiful. The characters are absolutely goddamn beautiful so we have guilty over here i'm not gonna lie initially when i saw the first three characters i said to myself guilty was the best i have changed my mind sim sin sorry over here she's amazing uh, in terms of look she looks absolutely fantastic so in today's video what we're going to be doing is taking a look at the three characters we're going to take a look at the liberation we're going to see which, which one i will be picking which one i would recommend you guys to pick as well there is some there's a character you can go for pve and there's a character you can go for pvp and there is a character if you want to just pick for white for reasons and uh yeah they got big jugs they just look fantastic and i'm absolutely loving the way they look so let's just quickly take a look at the character um design they, we're going to be taking a look at the full assets we're going to admire it we're going to rate it so hopefully you guys like this video stay tuned for more content on nikkei goddess of victory if you guys don't want to miss out on future nikkei goddess of victory content make sure you are subscribed make sure that post notification is on and if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you click the like button it helps out with the algorithm and it also helps other people find this video damn they are beautiful okay so this is guilty over here and uh diama uh, she's fantastic she's absolutely fantastic um i wish i can actually see the animation in terms of the ultimate or the special animation but this is guilty over here so this is how she looks like we don't really care too much what the flip that was scary we don't care about the chibi art but this is guilty we'll take a look at these skills later on sin i'm not gonna lie my new favorite my new favorite character oh i think they changed the way she stands initially they will show you the back instead of the front and i do believe a lot of youtubers got like demonetized when that happened but um anyways let's just see there we go so this is um, sin over here i actually will say she's one of the best looking characters ever she has the mask that reminds me of laplace and um she just has the purple color as well that looks fantastic look at the eyes man and then next up we have quincy um not my favorite i'm not gonna lie she looks too bland i mean yeah i'll thin that out but she looks bland and boring um i okay, cannot boring she just looks okay i take that back i take that back I, I i would take that back that was a terrible take for me um okay she might be everyone's favorite actually i think she got that bits out and a lot of people are gonna like that see is she an smg she looks like an smg character anyways let's quickly take a look at the skills as well um we do a quick rundown on which one is the pve character and which one is a pvp character so guilty over here i do believe she is the pve character and her skills activates after landing six normal attacks duplicates um 8.8 .8, um attack of ally with the highest attack stacks up to five times and lasts for 10 seconds it's all right it's all right second skill uh increases stat count of buff by one i do believe one of the other characters that do this is pepper so this is actually good and then she also increased attack stats so that's great and then the burst skill she basically deals damage and then defense down and deals additional damage i think yeah obviously as you can see this is probably like a boss type character you use to go against bosses you de um, de defense down um i would say her skills are all right i don't think they're like ss tier but they, they're definitely all right this is definitely the pve character and um yeah she's definitely worth considering picking and then we have the pvp character i hope i said this is pve this is pve now we have the pvp character let's see what she can actually do i personally will probably pick sin just because she's a burst too i do believe both all three of them characters are burst too and i think pvp is more not important but a stage where you definitely going to require like a a solid uh, or multiple teams so having multiple teams obviously with the special pvp stuff you're going to require another burst two character that can deal good amounts of damage or just useful and i definitely think sin is that character so with this one over here she basically duplicates hp okay she buffs up hp and she's able to stun oh and the cooldown for this one is it does not say oh this is a passive so wait after the last one of ammunition she's an smg is she smg and then skill 2 boost gauge loading skill all right um after the change effect changes according to number of activation recovers 15 
okay this is definitely yeah this is amazing and then twice hp potency increases on defense yeah this is absolutely amazing she's she's the best i think i honestly think she's the best character to pick and then for the burst skill we have the um damage taken to the enemies increased this is um all enemies as well so a huge aoe very very nice she is looking like the better character and then we have quincy over here taking a look at quincy's skill i don't think they're actually that bad um um or not even bad it's actually good i think so um however i don't think it's anything meta like i said in all the other characters i don't think they're meta meta um i do still think sin is the best because she is useful in pv um p um with the other characters even though they're all right in pve content there is obviously going to be better pve characters we already have right now in the game so they're not really going to be replacing anyone too much but with this one over here duplicates hp of uh this is all right i feel like the attack buff over here is pretty good affects two ally units with the highest attack so this is all right um, cooldown 8.0 second um there is also another character if you pair it up with another burst two character for example dollar dollar also provides a buff attack buff as well where is dollar right now um let's just actually just do this burst two there we go so bot is also able to dollar sorry is also able to do like some attack buff so for five seconds cooldown is 10 seconds so if you can balance that out you can actually get yourself a constant attack buff um let's just go back to quincy over here but um i will still say that the burst kill i don't think is that good as you can see increasing max hp and critical damage i guess the critical damage is good for damage but the max hp i don't think it's going to be that useful in pve content um, especially if you are doing like burst boss content you're just trying to aim to deal as much as damage as possible um so i feel like this is an okay average character but anyways that is my review on the three characters now do note it's going to take you a while before you can actually get the character um because obviously the liberation system does not give you the character straight away it's going to take a couple of days i will try and calculate how long it's going to take for you guys to be able to claim your free ssr character but it's obviously going to take a while now to enter the liberation system i think well i should tell you guys right now basically all you need to do is go over to the elevator press enter and this is where the liberation system is now i've already specifically picked my character but i do believe if you want to switch over to another character it's at no extra cost and i do believe the um the thing is still the same but as you can see change um change rehabilitation targets changing your rehabilitation target will not reset the mission but your mission points will reset change target anyways um okay so as you can see um i already picked um sin and i don't want to change that but as you can see you can get 50 gems for each score section you get and then you get sin at the end and she just looks absolutely fantastic so there we go that is the new rehabilitation system or the liberation system tell me down in the comment section which characters you're going to be going for i recommend sin and then i'll say quincy as number two not quincy um uh what's up guilty as number two and then quincy at number three because i do believe there's another character that's actually quite similar to quincy let me try and find her can't seem to find a character um but for guilty over here she does have quite unique skills so the um, increased stack count of buffs is very good the attack buff is nice um and then the burst skill is also very very good for um, sin over here the ability to stun is great um what else hp recovery or hp potency for pvp is gonna be nice defense but we do know defense buff is not that great um the first one over here is recover 15.3 percent of attack and damage as hp lasts for five seconds i think this is going to be great for her and then the third one is quincy the thing i like about her is the basic attack buff she gives and that is pretty much it if i was to rate the character i would go for sin as a okay if i'm going to rate it from like double s tier to um, d tier for sin i would say she is a tier um closely s tier or just maybe a tier for guilty a tier quincy slightly below a b tier or c tier that is my rating for each individual character hopefully you guys like this video stay tuned for more content on nikkei goddess to victory tell me down in the comment section whether or not you guys agree or disagree it's been your boy ac gamer and i'm out